Last week, we performed Spearman's Rank and Pearson's Correlation Methods on a dataset containing unemployment rate and immigration. Let's perform some regression analysis on this. You can either open up your spreadsheet from last week, or, as I'm going to do, import the data into a new spreadsheet. This data is again available on MOL. And you should all know how to import this data from now. Data from text and then select wherever you've stored it and of course we're going to select unemployment underscore spear make sure that we've got my data has headers ticked and of course comma hit next and select A1 and here we have our data imported successfully we are going to assume in this case that our immigration data is our y variable, this is our dependent variable, and our x variable is therefore unemployment rate, our independent variable. We're going to use this knowledge to perform our regression analysis. We're going to use the regression function of the data analysis tab. If you don't know where this is, which you should by now, or it isn't available, ask for help. So here we are on the data, we're going to click data analysis, and this time we are going to select regression. And this brings up a new window where we're going to import our Y range. Here we're going to use immigration. We're going to input our X range. Here we're going to use our unemployment rate. We're going to output our range to an appropriate cell, for example, G1. And we are going to also plot our residuals and residual plots and line fit plots to interpret them in a moment. Press OK. This produces a large number of outputs, some of which are relevant for us and some of which are not. This is the main area of interest, our regression statistics. We have what we call ANOVA here, this is analysis of variance, I'm going to ignore this for the purposes of this practical. And we have our outputs for a for residual here which are important for some of the questions you're going to answer in a moment. And also importantly we have our two plots here. I'm just going to rearrange these here so we can see both of them. Okay, so now we're going to look at the regression statistics here. And we are interested in particular in our R squared value. So answer the following questions get out a notepad or use the word document to answer them how is regression different from correlation what is our calculated r squared value and what in particular does this tell us about our data what is a residual it may help if you look at the plot called residual plot the plot at the bot the, at the top up here and also look at our residual outputs. What are our residuals? Our regression analysis produces a best linear model to describe that data. Excel can work out this formula for us, and it does so in the form y equals mx plus c, where m is our gradient and c is our intercept. So we can work out y based on the characteristics of the regression line. Let's move the line fit plot to its own sheet. Remember, we right-click, move chart, and put new sheet. For example, regression. Click OK. This will move our sheet to a new plot. Let's right-click on our red data set here and click add trend line. This will add a perfect straight line to the data and open up a new bar on the right, much like last week. On this new bar, scroll to the bottom and tick the following display equation on chart and display r squared value on chart this brings up two new additions to the chart let's just increase the text size slightly so we can see it now using this data answer the following questions why does the r squared value plotted here indicate a value of one write down the regression line equation indicated use this to extrapolate predict values of y for values of employment of two percent and eight percent 
Remember, values of uh, unemployment uh, is our x-axis. Comment on how reliable these estimates are. Comment on possible error, i.e. using the r-squared value of the raw data, and the assumption caveat that we have to make when making these estimates. Again, cast your minds back to last week. We created a scatter plot. Let's recreate this scatter plot by selecting the raw data and give it some appropriate labeling. So, we'll go back to the raw data. We'll select our appropriate data sets. Insert, scatter, scatter, and we'll have something like this. So let's add a, an appropriate chart title. Uh, for example, unemployment versus immigration. But this can be anything you want it to be. And we're going to add axis titles. So, unemployment. Rate percentage and of course our y-axis of immigration per thousand of population. Instead of running the data analysis regression tool we can run the regression directly on the chart by right clicking on the data and again clicking add trend line. We can then scroll down to the bottom and tick display equation and display our squared value. This gives us only the data points that we may be interested in. This is a simple and quick way of understanding the linear fit of our data and is also a very visual and useful method too. If we want to learn more about error and associated residuals then it is best to run the data analysis feature.